While washing machines can differ from model to model, they all operate on similar principles. In this video, we will address the six stages of front load washer operation, as well as potential problems you may encounter. The home's hot and cold water supply lines are attached to the water inlet valve on the washing machine. The water temperature control allows the user to select hot, cold, or warm water to enter the tub during the fill cycle. The water level switch and control automatically detect the load size and adjust the amount of water entering the tub. The larger the load, the more water will be used. Most front load washing machines will use two to five gallons of water during the fill cycle. Once the temperature and cycle options are chosen, the control or timer locks the door and the fill cycle begins. Be aware that the failure of the door switch may prevent the appliance from working properly. The control sends voltage to the water inlet valve, which opens, allowing water to fill the tub. The water level switch has a tube that connects to the side of the tub. As the tub fills with water, air pressure increases in the tube. When a sufficient amount of water has filled the tub, the pressure in the tube causes the water level switch to shut off the voltage to the inlet valve, closing it and stopping the water flow. The control or timer can then advance the cycle. Be aware that some models incorporate a flow meter to regulate the amount of water entering the tub. Common problems that can occur during the fill cycle include the tub overfilling, taking too long to fill, or not filling at all. Too little water entering the tub indicates that the water inlet valve is probably restricted, commonly caused by the buildup of hard water deposits. A restricted inlet valve will need to be replaced. Trying to clean out an old valve is not recommended due to the risk of part failure after repair. A tub that is overfilling may be an indication that the inlet valve has failed or that there is a problem with low water pressure to the appliance. Water inlet valves need water pressure between 20 and 120 pounds per square inch to function properly. If the pressure is too low, the water may not shut off properly, or it may trickle into the tub when the washer is not in use. To add detergent, bleach, or fabric softener, the control sends voltage to the water inlet valve. The valve opens, allowing water to travel to the dispenser system, which dispenses each solution into the tub during the proper cycle. Be aware that using too much detergent can cause deposits to build up in the dispenser housing. This can restrict the flow of water through the system and prevent the proper amount of detergent from entering the tub. If the dispenser is free of restrictions but still fails to work, the cause could be low water pressure to the washer, a restricted fill hose, or a problem with the water inlet valve itself. Also, be aware that the system may require a higher water pressure than the 20 PSI minimum to properly flush the solutions from the dispenser. The wash cycle begins when the control sends voltage to a stator at the rear of the appliance or a motor control board depending on the model. The stator is energized by the voltage and becomes an electromagnet which interacts with the rotor on the tub. The rotor has permanent magnets built into it, so the two components create a magnetic field which rotates the tub in each direction. Models with a motor control board use a drive motor, belt, and pulley to rotate the tub. The motor control regulates the amount and polarity of the voltage sent to the motor in order to affect speed and direction. Front load washers operate by tumbling the clothes several rotations in one direction, stopping, and then tumbling the clothes in the opposite direction. The process of tumbling the clothes back and forth throughout the cycle plunges and lifts the clothes through the water and detergent solution. Once the wash cycle is complete, the water needs to be drained from the tub. The control sends voltage to a drain pump, which pumps the water out the drain hose to a wash tub or drain pipe. Most front load washers have a trap at the pump to catch coins, lint, and other debris. This trap should be checked and cleaned periodically to protect the pump and allow the tub to drain properly. 
The rinse cycle operates in the same manner as the wash cycle and may introduce fabric softener through the dispenser if added by the user. The laundry tumbles for a short time and then the water is drained. As with the wash cycle, the drive system rotates the tub during the spin cycle. However, the speed of the rotation is increased dramatically. The main control or motor control unit will vary the voltage to the motor or stator at the beginning of each spin cycle to rotate the tub slow enough to evenly distribute the laundry. As the cycle advances, the voltage is increased, resulting in a high-speed spin. Front load washers spin faster than most top load washers, which helps to reduce the drying time. If the washer is unusually noisy during the spin cycle, the cause could be a failed tub bearing. If the tub doesn't spin at all, you can inspect the stator, belt, or motor, or other applicable drive components to determine if any of them have failed. Repair Clinic has a solution for many of the problems you may be experiencing with your washing machine. Enter the appliance's full model number in our website search engine for a complete list of compatible parts. Our site also has an extensive selection of instructional videos to assist you, covering topics like part testing, disassembly, and part replacement. At Repair Clinic, we make fixing things easy.